Time for Joe Nemeth. Guarded closely by Jake Shetland. Back on the near side for Scott Hondel. At the arc. Goes right side. Back now to Hondel near side. Then gives it off to Schreiner. Goes down low to Hondel. To the basket and scores. LaCore opens the scoring 25 seconds into the, into the start on a put up by Scott Hondel. The Otters come across midcourt with a long pass to Jake Shetland. They'll take a look at a 2-3 zone set up by the Spartans. Jake Shetland to the arc. Looks right, goes left now into the lane. Off to Jason Retzloff. He goes off on the left wing with a pass to uh, Trevor Marol. Back out on top to Shetland. Bounce pass near side for Mark Newell. He'll work it to the baseline. Looks for the angle. It's cut off nicely by Kip Barbie dropping out. Then back out to Jason Retzloff for three. Retzloff working loose in the corner. Puts up a 20-footer and it's 3-2. Down low to Handel. Back up court. Ball stripped away and a foul in the paint. Scott Handel, the go-to player in the paint. Went up for his shot and it was deflected away in a Fergus Falls foul on Jason Retzloff. His first game's first. Shooting foul. Puts Handel at the line. 6'5", senior is a 75% season free throw shooter. Averages 18 per game. It's 3-2, Fergus. Both teams scoring on first possessions. Scott Handel with two coming. The first shot is up and in. Game is tied at three on Handel's free throw. Now the go-ahead try. Mark Newell and Nick Lang down low. The shot is off the side of the rim, off the front of the way. Missed free throw by Handel. Rebound Nick Lang, and the Otters are quickly up. Jason Retzloff on the near wing. Back out on top for Jake Shetland. 6.48 to go first quarter. Game tied at three. Here's Trevor Marol. Three-point try too deep. Off the iron. Rebound pulled away by Hondo. Tippy toes at the baseline. Keeps it in play with a pass back to Sparby. Across midcourt now with 6.36 to go. Sparby guarded closely by Retzloff as the Otters go man to man. Near side fire is Sparby shooting quickly for three. Tim Sparby three-pointer. And the Spartans take a 6-3 lead. They have scored a point on each of their three possessions. 6.18 to go, first quarter. Look for Marol left side, end of the baseline, then back out for Retzloff. Down to the baseline, Nick Lang moving in, gives it off, back out to Shetland, drives down the lane, gets the mismatch, and draws the foul by Wayne Schreiner. Jake Shetland found himself in some trouble and tried to force up a shot, and the uh, Spartans went up for the shot block, and the foul fall. Wayne Schreiner with his first, team's first. And that puts Jake Shetland at the line, who was a 39% free throw shooter. In the North Half section uh, championship game, the Spuds uh, were hoping to get the ball in the hands of Jake Shetland, and they quickly fouled him. And he responded by shooting 50% from the sh uh, line that night, and now tosses up and makes his first try to make it a 6-4 game. Jake Shetland averages four points a game. The right-hander tosses this one up and in. He makes two of two at the outset and brings the orders within one at 6-5. Looking at cross midcourt as we approach six minutes to go. Sparby working it in against Retzloff. Pass near left side for Jim Kraus. First time he's had his hands in the ball. Then back out to Sparby. Quick toss in the middle. Schreiner double head fake up. Left hands it up. Rattles it out. It won't go. It was halfway down before popping out of the orders have the rebound. Fast break. Lining it up. Moreau shot it. Blocked out of bounds by Sparby. The orders had Mark Newell alone in the paint, but... Marol didn't see him in time and then tried to toss one up from the corner and Sparby slapped it out of bounds. And so the Otters inbound at the baseline far corner. The pass in, Retzloff's shot won't go. Skims off to the near side chase by Nick Lang who tipped it out of bounds and the Spartans will bring it up. Nick Lang with great hustle into the near corner trying to keep the ball alive. But the Spartans will bring it up with 5.40 to go holding a 6-5 lead. Spartans have a two-pointer from Scott Handel, a three-pointer from uh, Kip Sparby, and a free-throw conversion from Handel. At the arc, a quick pass down low is deflected and away. Spartans turn it over. Back come the Otters, Jason Retzloff to the arc, driving down the lane, gives it off, give and go. Nick Lang goes up with his shot block, but the body foul down low. Kip Sparby went up with a hip block. He had the block on the ball, but Sparby's hip check gives him his first. And team second foul. And it puts Nick Lang at the line. The Otters are, by and large, not a good free throw shooting team. As a unit, have hit on less than 60%, near 58% of their tries on the year. Nick Lang is a 55% shooter. His shot is up and good. But the Otters are threatening to destroy everything concerned with statistics as they have hit on their first three 
free throws in tonight's game. And now Nick Lang's second shot is short on the rim. Rebound into Paints Barbie. And the Spartans will come up court with a game tied at six. Across midcourt again, Retzloff out at the key defensively. Dish off on the right side for Cross. He'll line drive it short on the rim. Rebound line. Off to Mark Newell. And he'll bring it up court with a long pass for Jason Retzloff. Back to Newell at the arc with the dribble. Back out to Retzloff. He'll drive off the high post, dip it up from the free throw line. Shot won't go. Things out. Rebound near side. Hondo. High in the air. Scott Hondo pulls it away. 4.50 to go. Game tied at six. First quarter. Sparby at the midcourt. Near side to cross. Quick toss into the corner. The look down low for Hondo. Turns. Shoots. Halfway down. Spins out. Rebound. Sparby pulls it away. And the Spartans take a new possession near midcourt. Pass right side into the hands of Jim Krause. Back out to Sparby near side, shooting quickly for three. Jim Sparby with two three-pointers here in the first quarter. And the Spartans lead at 9-6. 4.23 to go. Mark Newell at 6-8 brings it across the line with a long pass for Trevor Marole. He'll take a look at the zone. Bounce it near side for Jake Shetman. Now it's a 1-3-1 zone set up by Ricori. Mixing up their zone. Corey had started the game in a 2-3. has gone to 1-3-1. Here's the pass into the corner. Nick Lang back to Newell. He'll take it down to the baseline. Turn, shoots, and scores. Mark Newell, first two. Bringing the orders within one at 9-8. 3.50 to go. Sparby on the near side with a pass to Joe Hemmings. In the corner, deflected out of bounds by Nick Lang, trying to steal, and the Spartans will inbound at the baseline. 3.47 to go as Kip Sparby calls the play. Directly behind us, the Fergus Falls fans. And directly in front of us, across court, the Spartan fans. On top now, Hamish goes cross court for Sparby. He'll drive to the free throw line, leans in, shot short. Rebound tipped off the glass. Right back down to Mark Newell, who controls. He'll bring it up court. Stops at the key. Quick pass to the baseline. Newell is open. Left hand, it up and scores. Trevor Marole with his first two, and the Otters have their second lead of the night, leading the Spartans 10-9, and have outscored uh, Corey 10 or 7-3 in their last possessions to take a one-point lead. Here's Handel for three. Off the rim, no good. Rebound pulled away by Mark Newell. Up court pass, Jake Shetton and quick toss corner. Marole goes down low with a pass. The rolls off the shoot tops of Scott Handel. Gabe Dahl checking in. Dahl will replace Jim Krause in the lineup. Boucher. Eric Boucher also checking in. Boucher is 6'2", junior. And uh, we are into play. He replaces Wayne Schweiner. The pass down low for Na Lang. Kicks it back out for Jake Shetnett. Had a notion, didn't take the try. Near side pass and roll, and we've got a lane violation against the Otters. Nick Lang with his heels in the paint area. Three-second violation gives the ball back to the Spartans. 2.57 to go opening quarter. Fergus Falls leading by one at 10-9 as Ricori comes to midcourt. Gabe Dahl has taken over at the point guard. Pass near side, then down low. Sparby on top for Hemish. Right side, Dahl underhand layup. Try won't go. It's point out. Rebound pulled away by Jason Retzlaff. Works out of traffic. Pulls it up on the left side with a pass from a roll. The shot won't go. Off deep off the back line. And the long pass up for Joe Hemish. Back come the Spartans trailing 10-9. Two and a half to play. Pass right side. The look in. Then on top for Hondo. He'll put it up. Three-pointer back line. Rebound tipped up. Won't go. Foul backside. And the push off on the rebound try against the order. Mark Newell went over the top trying to get a hold of the loose ball. And the foul there. Newell with his first. Game second foul against the Otters. And so the Spartans inbound, trailing by one. A slap of the ball and the look in by Kip Sparby. Looking deep, now goes into the corner for Handel. Back out on the near side for Dahl. Returns to Sparby in the corner. Back out to Dahl on top. The Otters staying man to man. Near side with the look. Now the pass comes off to Joe Hemmings. To the top of the lane and Eric Boucher. Boucher on top goes right side for Sparby. Near side pass returned with less than two minutes showing. Spartans and Otters a near steal by Shetton, but it's picked up on midcourt by Joe Hemish. He'll bring it back to Sparby. Now the near side, Boucher on top, shooting quickly. Sparby for three. Hits Sparby with three. Three pointers in the first quarter. 
And the Spartans lead it by two at 12 10. 134 to go. Jake Shetnan of Fergus Falls to Jason Retzloff. Now looking in at a 2 3 zone to Shetnan on top. Looks left, goes in the middle to the high post. Mark Newell will make his drive down the lane, stop short, kicks it out. Retzloff works loose, back out to Newell. A give and go, didn't get the pass away. There it goes inside for Lang. Turn, shoot, was deflected, shot it up high off the glass. Rebound on the floor, picked up by Kip Barbie. 109 to go. Long pass in the near corner. Spartans leading by two at 12 10. Driving down the lane, the left hand layup. Underhand scoop gave Dahl for two. His first two, and the Spartans lead it by four at 14 10. 53 seconds in the quarter. Jason Retzloff working it all the way around the perimeter to the near corner. Looks out on top. Now will pass off to Jake Shetnan. He'll walk in against the zone. The Otters may try to work it down to the final shot. Still 42 to go, but Moreau will have nothing to do with that. He misses. Long range three pointer skips off the back iron, and Moreau is stone cold from outside. 14 10 Ricori leading. Into the front court, Gabe Dahl looks to the corner for Kips Barbie. He'll bring it on top. Condo works in on line, swings it up on the far side with a pass to Joe Hemmings. Left hands it in the middle, the turn, the shot, the score! Eric Boucher in the middle with his first two. And the bench play of the Spartans has come up big. It's 16 10. The long pass down low deflected away, and the Otters throw it away. A long pass and the traveling violation at the horn. First quarter in the books. Rafari 16, Curtis Falls 10. had the ball to inbound starting the second quarter. Got it off to Jason Retzlaff in the lane who was tied up and on the held ball alternate possession to Ricori. The Spartans with a six point lead after 1-16-10 and we're just underway in the second quarter. The Spartans go into the deep right corner for Gabe Dahl with a swing pass on top for Joe Hemming. Now it rolls off the shoe tops but it's picked up and controlled by Dahl. Keeps it alive. Pass to the baseline. Finally thrown away. Looking for Boucher at the baseline and it rolls off his fingertips. The Spartans with three three-pointers from Kips Barbie in the first quarter. Boucher with a basket, Dahl with a basket, Hondel with a three-point play, and it's 16-10. The Otters got three on a three-pointer from Retzla. Three points from Nick Lang. Two from Mark Newell, Marol, and Shetman. Into the corner, Retzla for three. Jason Retzloff, second three-pointer, brings the Otters to within three. Cuts the deficit right in half. It's now 16-13. First minute of play gone in the second quarter. Across midcourt, Gabe Dahl kicks it out on the near side. A launch put up by Sparby. Misses. Otters rebound. Fast break. It's two on one. Retzloff kicks it back out, and it's deflected out of bounds. Retzloff was way wide of the basket, could not attempt a layup, tried to feed it off for Trevor Moreau, and the Spartans back defensively, tip it out of bounds, and the Otters will put it in play underneath their own basket. Nick Lang, after playing the first nine plus minutes, gives way now to Chad Leroy. And uh, Jason Nelson has checked in. Nelson, a six foot senior, Leroy, a six one junior. The Otters, for the first time, have gone to their bench. Bob Brink went to the bench early and they responded. Here's the inbound pass to Mark Newell. He works loose in the paint to score. He's got four. And the Otters have scored the first five points of the second quarter to a pull within one at 16-15. Six and a half to play. Pass on the right side. Kips Barbie with a look in. Now on top to Handel. Kicks it out to the baseline shot. Hemmings puts it up and scores. Joe Hemmings, who averages 11, gets his first two. And the Spartans are back up by three at 18-15. Near side pass for Leroy, Jason Nelson. Then off to uh, Retzloff, into the corner, down low. There's the shot try by Jason Nelson, and he had a complete mismatch on Hondo, who had the clean block. And the Spartans come up floor. 
leading by three. The pass down low to Handel, turns at the baseline, shoots off the rim. Rebound tipped off to the far side, scrambled and picked up by Eric Boucher. Long lob pass over the top for Handel, squares, shoots, and scores. Handel now with five. And the Spartans come right back and lead it by five. Here's a long range shot by Retzloff, dancing off the rim. Rebound pulled away by Boucher. Outlet pass to Sparby. Five and a half to go. Across midcourt, pass right side, driving down Boucher, stopped short, lost it at the baseline, deflected off the stand, cut him out. And the Otters will bring it out of the backcourt. Wayne Schreiner is back into the Spartan lineup. He replaces Eric Boucher. 24 to go. Mark Newell takes the inbound, gives it back to Retzloff, who slowly comes up towards midcourt. Otters trailing 20 to 15. Near side pass for Jake Shepard. A look to the bench area for the play. Drives into the lane, kicks it off to the corner. Retzloff brings it out to the arc. <coughs> He'll work it around on the near right side to the baseline. <coughs> gives it back in the middle. Leroy works in against the mismatch. Misfire. Rebound try, put back up, dances on the rim and comes away. Jason Nelson took the pass in the middle, tried to muscle it up against Scott Handel and Wayne Schreiner, and drew the foul from Schreiner, his second, team's third foul, and that puts Jason Nelson at the line. The right handed free throw is good. Twenty to sixteen. The Otters now have made four or five free throw tries in the first half. Jason Nelson's second free throw is halfway down, rolls up, and it stays in. Nelson makes two of two to pull the Otters within three at twenty to seventeen. Back on the Spartans with four fifty to go. At the top of the lane, Gabe Dahl works it off on the right side for Hemish. Three pointer won't go. Rebound tipped deep. Dahl controls. Spartans retain possession. Near side for Honda. Wants the three, won't take it. Sparby. Off left pass, driving down Schreiner. Kicks it out to the baseline. The shot up on the rim won't go. Honda rebound. Muscles it back up. It's on the rim. It comes away. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Scott Honda going high to claim the rebound. Was fouled on the backside by Chad Leroy. His first, team's third, and Scott Handel is back at the line. Handel with five points tonight on two field goals and one of two from the line. Mark Newell and Jake Shetman taking breathers now for the Otters heading to the bench area. Trevor Moreau is back in as Scott Handel sets in at the line. He'll shoot two. Scott Handel with four and a half to play. Puts up the free throw try good. Now with six on the night. Game honors belong to teammate Kip Sparby with nine on three three pointers. Here's Handel's second free throw on the rim. It holds up and drops it. Seven now for Handel. And the Spartans are back up by five at 22 17. Otters in the front court. Pass left side for Trevor Moreau, who takes over at the point. Moreau looks left, back down low. Nick Lang goes up high, puts up the shot. It may have been deflected. It was. It was deflected by Hondo on the rebound. A scramble board in the paint area. And a foul to Jason Nelson of Fergus Falls. Nelson picks up his first team score. Wayne Schreiner will inbound for the Spartans out of the backcourt. Waiting at midcourt, Chad Leroy. He picks up on Gabe Dahl, bounces at near side. The look in by Hemish. He'll bring it out to the arc. Right side, Schreiner works in on Nelson. And a lane violation called. Standing, Dave Dahl was about halfway up the lane and about a yard inside, staying too long. That's the second lane violation that uh, has been called tonight. One against the Spartans, one against the Otters. And so with four minutes gone by and four to play in the second quarter, the Otters come into the front court trailing by five. Near side pass. And around the zone for Jason Retzloff, who shoots off the back line. Rebound Scott Hondo. He'll bring it up alone. Hondo working on Retzloff. Goes all the way down, lanes it up, and the shot foul in the lane. Jason Retzloff tried to get back in defensive position and caught the wrist on the way up. Retzloff picks up his second foul. And that'll put Scott Hondo at the line for the uh, Spartans. Eric Boucher. 
Eric Boucher back into the Spartan lineup, replacing Schreiner. Scott Handel, three of four tonight, seven points. Trying to improve a five-point game. The free throw try is good. Eight points for Scott Handel. Mr. Basketball nominee averaging 18 per game back at the line. The right-hander with a look up on the rim, a crawls forward and drops in. Nine now for Handel. And the Spartans lead it by seven. It's their biggest margin of the night at 24-17. Near side pass for Leroy and around the perimeter, Moreau. On top for Jason Retrop, down the lane. Stop short, put a double team. And back out on top for Moreau. He'll step up, pass it off left side for Jason Nelson into the baseline. And Chad Leroy shot a block by Eric Boucher, but foul on Boucher. Boucher went up high and slapped the ball out of bounds and apparently caught the arm on the way by. And Boucher says, I never touched him. Bob Brink agreeing with his player. Ken Bauman and Al Colligan, veteran section championship playoff referees watching tonight's game. Chad Leroy, 6'1 junior, a 70% shooter. Right-hander puts it on the front rim and it bounces away. 24-17, Spartans. With the lead. Otters at the line. The free throw try is off the back iron. It's no good. Chad Leroy missing on both tries. And with 3.15 to go in the half, Gabe Dahl brings it across midcourt for Ricori. He's met by Leroy. Bounce pass near side for Joe Hemmich. Looks in on the perimeter. Finds Boucher. Holds it high above his head. Back out for Kip Sparby. He has three threes on the night. Leads all scores. There's a pass down low for Hondo. And he stepped out of bounds. Ran into Mark Newell at the baseline and pumped off and stepped out of bounds. Four turnovers by the Spartans here in the first half. And with 2.55 to go, the orders want to take a timeout, and we've got a break. With 2.52 to go in the first half, it's Ricori 24 and Fergus Falls 17. Back at the Cobber Fieldhouse at Concordia College after an order timeout, 2.46 to go, and the order's trailing by seven. Looking in against a 2-3 zone. They're almost taking the shape of a 2-1-2 at times. Back out for Shetnan at the arc. Looking left side for Moreau. Into the corner for Retzloff. His three-pointer off the back line. Kicked out on the near side on the rebound. Pulled in by Joe Hemmett. The Spartans have the ball and a seven-point lead with 2.20 to go in the half at the midcourt circle. Bounced off on the near side for Hemish. They return in the middle for Sparbing down the lane. The shot was blocked, but he was fouled ahead of the shot block. And let's see if they rule it on the shot block or before the shot try. It's an order foul. Jake Shetnan with his first. That's 16 fouls, and he was in the act of shooting, and will get two. Kip Sparby. Nine points tonight on three. Three-point field goal. And the free throw try on the front of the rim, bouncing off the side and dropping in. Barbie now in double figures. The Spartans are on a five-point run. The second free throw off the back iron, it's no good. Rebound at the paint, pulled away by Nick Lyon. Back on the orders, trailing now by eight. Biggest deficit of the night, leaning in Jason Rutherford. Thanks it off the glass and scores. Rex Lyon with eight. And it's 25-19. 157 to go. Bounced it on the perimeter. Stolen away by Trevor Moreau. Creating the turnover and coming up more. And now a reach in foul on the backside. Kip Sparby trying to catch up and pick up the loose ball. Picks up his second foul. And Jason Gutzlaff will inbound on the near side court with 151 to go. Otters trailing by six at 25-19. Jake Shetman looks at a 2-3 zone. Bounces in the middle. Intended for Nick Lang. He nearly got it to him, but the Spartans are there and take it away. Spartans will come up court after the steal. With a six-point lead and 137 to go in the half. Gabe Dahl bouncing off to the right corner. Hamish looks in on top for Hondo. He'll drive it down. Stop short. Ten-footer good. Scott Hondo now with game high 11. 
And the Spartans again lead it by eight at 27-19. One twenty to go. Jake Shepman to the arc for the order. And the lob down low for Mark Moon. He'll bank his way in. The pass too hard. Kicked out on the inside. Scrambled for. And will exchange turnovers. It was picked up at midcourt by Sparby, but his backward motion on to his backside carried him a good three feet. And so after the Otters were unable to get the ball inside for Newell, they turn it over. Then Sparby at midcourt, unable to come up with the clean steal, turns it back to the Otters. And Fergus will inbound with 109 to go. Jake Shetman will trigger it in. 27-19, Ricori leading. Fergus falls with the ball. Back on the left side, Shetnan works it into the arc, penetrates down and throws the pass all the way through the zone and out of bounds. They were looking for the floater, Jason Retzlaff, at the baseline, and by the time the, he was open, the pass was not yet thrown, and by the time it was thrown, he was long gone, and it ends up out of bounds. Back comes Gabe Paul, driving all the way down, and a whistle, stopping play on a hip check by Jake Shetnan. Trying to stop Gabe Dahl at the baseline. And that's the seventh team foul against the Otters. It puts Dahl at the line. Shetman picking up his second personal. Shetman and Retzloff each playing with two for Fergus Falls. Sparby and Schreiner each with two for Ricori. Gabe Dahl. 6-1 junior, free throw off the side iron. It is no good. A whistle on the rebound. A Ricori foul on the rebound, trying to pick up the missed free throw try. The foul goes to Wayne Schreiner. That's his third. And that's 16 fouls against the Spartans. One more before the Otters are in the bonus. The Spartans are already in the bonus with 46 seconds to go in the half. Otters into the front court trailing by eight. Pass off of the near right side for Mark Newell. He'll take it to the baseline, stop short, shoots, and scores. Mark Newell with an empty loop move at the baseline now has six. And it's 27 21. Spartans across midcourt with the lead. Near side for Sparby. On top now for Boucher. Just inside the perimeter line. Turning, goes right side. Back out on top for Sparby and Ricori. 16, now 15 to play. Leading by six. A quick look at the clock. Now 10 and he'll make his move. Sparby shoots from three, won't go. Gets his own rebound, takes it to the baseline, shoots and scores, drops it in. Sparby following his own missed shot. And a long second shot at the buzzer is just off the line. It is no good. And the teams go to the locker room at the half with the score. Ricori, 29. Alternate possession will be inbounded on the near side by Fergus Falls. Ricori will defend the basket to our left as we look on. And Jake Shetman will come out to trigger it in to start the second half of play. Jake Shetman triggers it in with a pass to side for Trevor Moreau. Back out on top and looking in at the zone. Shetman goes off on the right side for Mark Newell to the baseline. Stop short. Ten for the good. And Mark Newell opens up the second half for the audience for the basket. And it's a six-point game at 29-23. The Spartans took the early lead at 6-3. The uh, Otters came back to tie. Here's Farby for three. It's off the side of the rim. Bouncing off. Nick Ryan for the rebound. Stepped out of bounds. The Otters came back to tie the game at six, but then a three-pointer from uh, Sparby made it 9-6. The Otters got two more baskets to take their only lead at 10-9. And then the six straight, seven straight, rather, by the Spartans, and then not look back. Led 16-10 at the end of the first quarter, led at the half 29-21. Off to Scott Handel, he'll put it up from 16, that's on the front of the rim, it bounces off, Sparty rebound, leans in, puts it on the rim, it hangs and drops away. He's fouled, will go to the line. Kit Sparby will get two free throw throws. The Otter foul is on Nick Lang. That's his first, and it's the first foul of the second half. Kit Sparby at the line for Ricori. 12 points in the first half, averages 12 a game. The right-hander with two coming, makes his first, and he's two of three tonight. Game high, 13 for Kip Sparby. The Spartans with a seven-point lead. The right-hander takes a look 
up. The shot is short on the rim. Rebound down for Jason Retzloff. Long pass up from a roll. On the near side for Retzloff. He'll drive down. Leans in from 16. Halfway down. Spins up. Rebound in the paint. Pulled out by Scott Hondel. And the Spartans are up court with a seven-point lead. The play called by Gabe Dahl as he comes across midcourt. Bounces it on the near side for Sparby. Returns to Dahl deep in the corner. He'll shoot. The 19-9 won't go. Rebound tipped into the paint and pulled away by Shetman. Here come the orders down by seven. At the arc, driving down, fingertip roll up and a block foul on his way in. Jake Shetman tried to take it in the lane. Knew he wasn't going to get a good shot away and would hope at best to draw a foul. And he did. Gabe Dahl with a blocking foul, his first. And that's the first foul of the second half against the Spartans. Dahl will take a rest now with Jim Krause checking in. At the line, Jake Shetman. He'll shoot two. Conversions would make it a five-point game. The right-hander puts it up. It's off the back iron. It is no good. Shetman, who made two of two in the first quarter, missing here. Now a second try. Handel and Sparby under the glass, and the second one is good. Shetman now with three on the night, all from the line, and it's 30 to 24. The Spartans have the ball and a six-point lead at midcourt. Gibbs Barbie guarded by Jason Retzlaff. Works it off on the near side for Hemish. The look in. He'll take it into the lane. And as he makes his move in, he is blocked way before he got the shot try on the elbow. And it'll be against the Otters. Jake Shutton with the whistle. His third personal foul. Jake Shetnan, first player on the floor tonight to pick up his third. And Kip Sparby will inbound for Ricori with a pass into Hemish, who breaks off the, uh, and gets the shot up, won't go, but the rebound, Boucher. Out on top to the left side and back out on top. A look in by Jim Krause. Off to Boucher, driving down. Underhand fingertip roll from 16, won't go, but the putback by Hemish comes off the glass and down. Hemish has four. And the Spartans take an eight-point lead at 32-24. At the arc, long pass near side for Mark Newell. He'll fake right, go left, stop at the baseline, shoot short. Rebound tipped into the paint. Jake shutting in there for the audit. He'll bring it outside the arc, work it right side. Shuffling loose, Retzloff goes down the lane, puts it on the glass and down. Jason Retzloff working his magic in the line. Has 10, and it's 32-26. Here's a drive up the lane by Joe Hemming. Hemish with in second in baskets, has six, 34-26. Jake Shetnan out on the far right side, bouncing on top for Retzloff. He'll step inside the perimeter, now back out. Near side to Merol, quick toss in the middle. Merol is open near side, the three-pointer won't go. Rebound, Newell turns left, turns right, goes off the glass, shot is short, he's fouled, and Mark Newell will go to the line. Spartan foul with 5.24 to go in the third. Eric Boucher picking up his second personal. Five twenty-four remaining. Mark Newell at the line. The scoreboard showing Eric Boucher with three personal fouls. Our book showing him with two. That has been corrected. It is his second. While Newell goes to the line and drops in his first free throw try. Nine points on the night now for Mark Newell. Big six-eight senior. Averaging 14 a game. His right-hander puts it up. It's off the side iron. Rebound pulled away by Scott Hondo. Hondo with the rebound after Newell makes one of two. And it's 34-27. Spartans into the front court, leading by seven. Sparby around near side. Krause makes right, goes left, spins at the top near side. Long toss down low for Schreiner. Back out for Hemish. And out to the far side for Krause. A three-pointer, no, he was on the line. As he just stepped across the line, and it's 36 to 27, the second time tonight that the Spartans have led by nine. Here's Marol, three-pointer, side iron, rebound, Lang, whistle on the rebound. This one is against the Spartans. And for Ricori, the foul on Joe Hemish is first and third team foul. Otters will inbound, trailing by nine. The pass into the corner. Trevor Marole 
Goes down low for Newell. Leans in, puts it on the glass. Short rebound. Tipped away. Finally picked up by Sparby. The Spartans will come up court with 4.37 to go. Across midcourt. Near side pass for Hemish. And then on top, the look in. The step inside by Kraus. Out to Sparby for three. It's up. Jeff Sparby. His fourth three-pointer of the night. And the Spartans are threatening to run away. It's 39-27. It's the biggest lead they've had. To the baseline. Down low, Nick Lang. Leans in against Hondo on the shot block foul. Scott Hondo picks up his first foul as he went up to try and block Nick Lang's try. And that puts Nick Lang at the line. Held to a single free throw conversion in the first quarter. Nick Lang is a 55% free throw shooter on the year, averaging nine points a game. Obviously, most of his points have come from put up tries. Here's Lang's free throw. It is good. 39-28. The Spartans have built as much as a 12-point lead. It's now 10. Nick Lang makes two of two free throws to bring the orders within 10 at 39-29 as Ricori comes into the front court with a pass to Joe Henry. Into the near corner, Charles. Then back outside for Hemmings. The three-point try won't go. Rebound, Mark Newell. Curtis Falls takes it back with a long pass up for Jason Retzlaff. He tries to dump off down low, and all along, Jason Nelson. Nelson with his first field goal has four. And at 39-31, the Otters are right back within eight. Both teams have scored ten in the third quarter. Here's Kip Harvey for three. But it's quite effective. That is his fifth three-pointer in tonight's game. He leads all scorers with 19. And Ricori has taken back an 11-point lead. Here's Nick Lang down low for two. First field goal for Nick Lang. 42-33. Well, we've had almost as much scoring here in the third quarter in the less than five minutes of play. And we've had in the first half, it seems. On the far side, Jim Krause with a shuffle step and a traveling violation. Fergus Falls will come from the backcourt with 3.09 to go in the third. Trailing by nine. Here's Jason Retzlaff. A 21-footer is no good. Rebound, Mark Newell. Put the ball over his head, and it was taken away by Jim Krause. Otters on the turnover. Their eighth of the night. They average 11. Near side pass. Krause works loose. Onto the left side, Handel puts up an eye rainbow shot that's off the rim. Rebound, Jason Nelson, and here comes Fergus Ball. Retzlaff will come to the arc, stops the dribble, looks behind for Moreau. Down low for Lang, working loose, leans in and scores. Nick Lang went into the lane to put up a fingertip roll. Back at the Cobber Field House at Concordia College. 2.29 remaining. Gregory will inbound from the backboard with a seven point lead. 42 35. Kips Barbie across midcourt for Gregory with a quick left hand pass for Joe Hemmett. A look in. Pass up on the near side. And Schreiner opens up the left hand of the strip. Wayne Schreiner's first points of the night. A crucial two pointer from about 16. And it gives the Spartans a nine-point lead at 44-35. On the right side against the zone, Newell dishes off to the baseline. Jason Nelson's free throw won't go. Rebound deep to Scott Handel. Or Joe Hemish, rather. Joe Hemish with the rebound. And here comes Ricori. Lob pass down low for Schweiner. Looking in, out of position. Left hands it on the rim, won't go. Follows, puts it back up. Dances and drops down. And again, it's an 11-point Ricori lead at 46-35. Back up court. Driving down the lane, Nick Lang on his Mave up was Tripp. And Jim Krause picks up his first foul. Jim Krause sticking out his leg, preventing Nick Lang from working loose in the lane. His first team's fifth, Krause will come out as Gabe Dahl is back in. And Jason Retzloff will trigger it in with 1.35 to go. Here comes Eric Boucher. Boucher will replace Scott Handel in the lineup for recovery. And Jason Retzloff will trigger it in with a pass to Nick Lang to the corner. 
It's deflected out of there. The Otters turn it over. A pass back in. A little bit of a confusion on the inbound play. Everything was coming too close together. And the Spartans come up with a loose ball. Left-handed out for Boucher. Around the perimeter, 118 to go in the third. Joe Hemish works loose. Off the glass. Too hard. Rebound in the paint. Killed away. Shot put up. High and scores. Eric Boucher now has four. As he was alone in the paint and got the put back. Six straight by the Spartans and lead it by 13 at 48-35. And it has come after the Otters were within nine. The Otters were trying a, a little run. The momentum changed, but now Brink with a timeout call has come back with three straight baskets. Here's the foul now on Boucher, his third, and the Otters inbound. Marol goes right side, a quick toss in for Newell, who turns, shoots short, rebound, pulled away by Kenny Barbie. The outlet pass on the near side for Gabe Dahl. 47 seconds to go in the third. Rapori leading by 13. Around the perimeter, the end of the lane, Sparby works it out on the left side for Gabe Dahl. Back out on top, time control ball game. Sparby in the far right corner. Rapori working off low posts and taking off valuable time. Leading by 13, now with 24 to go in the third. Sparby past near side. Dahl. Back out to Sparby. Now 17 to play. Very effective offensive motion. Back out on the near side for Hemet. And Sparby will put it up with 10. The shot won't go. Rebound kept up. Neal rebound. Outlet pass. Otters have plenty of time, but are going to shoot anyway. And the rebound is kicked out on the near side as the horn sounds. Trevor Moreau took a shot from here. The Spartans ran the line with five seconds to go. And it came off the glass. And by the time anybody could catch up to it, the horn had sounded. And we'll go to the fourth quarter of play. Here's the cover field game. The 35 points after the three. Here with eight minutes to go. Rakori inbounding on the alternate possession. Leaving by 13. Look for them to control the clock even more so. They ran off the final 48 seconds of the uh, third quarter. Got a couple of shots away. Couldn't score. And it forced a desperation shot by the Otters at the buzzer. Near side pass for Scott Handel. They'll go into their time-consuming delay motion offense. Oh, no. Here it goes. Three-point try won't go. A long shot put up by Wayne Schleiner off the pick on the near side, and the Otters come up with a loose ball. Here's Retzloff. Three-pointed. Jason Retzloff now with 13. And it's a 10-point game at 48-38. First minute, fourth quarter. Starby working on Retzloff. Near side pass for Dave Dole. Into the corner for Hemet. Back out on top. Barbie comes off the backside and onto his feet. And on the move up the line, Trevor Moreau picks up the foul. That's his first. And that's 16 fouls now. Jake Shetman prepares to check in for Fergus. Just over seven minutes remaining in the fourth. 16 fouls on the Spartans, three team fouls on the Otters. Jason Nelson checking out. Rakori will inbound in front of their own bench. Waiting for the floor to clear. And we get set to go. The inbound pass comes to Gabe Dahl. He'll work right then left. Otters have started and played man-to-man -man all the way. Near side, on cross-court pass, given back to Kip Sparby. On the near side now for Scott Handel. A look in on Newell. Looks off onto the left side for Sparby. He'll bring it back out on top. Long pass for Hemming. To the corner, Handel is open, shoot, miss. Rebound, tipped up, tipped up. Out near midcourt, and Rapori retains possession. A great hustle by Gabe Dahl to pick up the loose ball. Down low it goes for Hondo, who puts it off the ground. First points of the second half for Scott Hondo. He's got 13 on the night. Mason Retzler back up four, drops in a three-pointer, his second of the quarter. And it's 50 to 41. Otters cannot afford to take a lot of time in their offense, and they'll try to find Retzlaw quickly. Here's a drive down the middle by Sparby. Into the line. And Sparby with a drive up the lane. Had the ball touched by a defender.
defender, but managed to be strong enough to carry it with him up off the glass and in. It was good. He was fouled, and he'll go to the line. Jason Retzloff has picked up his third personal. And Sparby now with 21. Made two of four tonight from the line. A single free throw try here. The shot is up. It rattles and drops in. Barbie. The Spartans are back up by 12. It's been double digits through most of the second half. Here's Mark Newell in the paint, back out. Retzlaff. He'll work it into the corner for Marole. He hasn't hit one yet. This one's good. Trevor Marole's first three-pointer of the night. He's got five, and it's 53-44. Back up Ford driving down Nick Lang, pushing off on the way in. Lang with his second. And the ball will be put in bounds on the near side court. That is the fourth team foul against Fergus Ball. And we have a timeout taken. A timeout taken here at the Cotter Field House. With 5.34 to go. It's the NCAA Championship Basketball Game. It's for Corey 53. And Fergus Ball 44. It is 53 to 44. Fergus Balls that got a lot of work to do. The ball will be in bounds on the near sideline deep in the corner. Wayne Schreiner will trigger it in for the pole. It's passed on to Kip Sparby. Jake Shetton out on him, one-on-one. One. With the left-hand dribble, it's stolen away by Jake Shetton. Gets it up on the near side of the order. Add the key. Right side, Newell steps inside, 16-footer, won't go. Hard off the back iron. Rebound pulled away by Gabe Dahl. 5.15 to go. Dahl deep in the backcourt against full court pressure. Now bounces it ahead for Sparby along the left side. Sparby brings it back between the circles and to the near side. Stops the dribble now and finds Joe Hemming. He's at the key. He'll work the ball. Near side pass for Sparby. He'll shoot quickly. Three pointer on the rim. Won't go. Rebound for the red slot. And the honors are up court. Speeding down to the baseline. Retzloff backs outside the perimeter. He'll lob it in, gets it off, and the shot put on the rim that won't go. Nick Lang had it on the rim and hung and came away. And the Spartans are there for the rebound. Hips, Barry brings it back up, and now a reach-in wraparound foul on Jake Chetman. Chetman has picked up his four, and Rakori will inbound to the near side court. Leading 53-44. Still one foul to give for both teams before the bonus. Wayne Schreiner will trigger it in. The look in pass, and he finds Gabe Dahl into the front court. Dahl goes far for Schreiner, gets it out, leaning in. The shot is good. Don Hondo driving in now has 15. And again, the Spartans lead by 11 at 55-44. Here's Retzloff, three-point bombs away. Shot is short. Rebound pulled away by Dahl. Rakori back up with 4-11 to go. Across midcourt, Dahl. Left side pass down low to Handel off his fingers and out of bounds. Nine turnovers on the night for Rakori. 4-0-5 left. Bounce pass up for Jason Retzloff. Rakori leads it. By 11. Fergus falls in the front court. Here's Retzloff. Fakes the three. Steps inside and underneath Joe Hemish to draw the foul. Hemish with his second. It is a one and one situation. Now that was the seventh team foul. And that brings Chad Leroy into the order lineup. 6-1 junior for Fergus Falls replaces Nick Lang. But not before a timeout is taken. Bob by 11. 55-44, Fergus Falls at the line, Jason Retzlov shooting. He has 16 points tonight, all from the field. Four three-pointers and one two-pointer. He is shooting one plus one. Jason Retzlov's free throw is good. Retzlov, who had such a had 30 points against Moorhead in the North Half Championship game, made 11 in a row in the fourth quarter and makes two here. Retzloff, two for two from the line to uh, bring the deficit under double digits. And Rakori comes into the front court leading 55 to 46. On the near side, driving down the lane, kicks it back out, driving the back Gabe Dahl trying the penetration. And before he could get in position to pass off to anybody, he had dragged his back foot up the lane. 
and the orders will come up with 344 left. Here's Mark Newell on the right side for Shetnan. Deep into the corner, the pass down low. Mark Newell, double head fake, puts it up and down. Mark Newell, now with 11. And the orders are within seven. Out of the backcourt, kicks Barbie and 323 to go. 55-48 record. He's led by as much as 13 here in the second half. All pass near side for Hemet. Direct close lead by Chadley Ward. Pass on the next side. Steps outside the platter. Quick pass. Down low for Schreiner. Back out for Hemet. Then take the shot. Drives the foul as he hits the deck. Chad Ward hit on hard on Hemish. And that is the seventh foul against Fergus Falls. And it'll put Ricori at the line. The foul. It goes to Trevor Marol. And that's his second. Leroy and Marol both out. And the foul goes to Marol. At the line. No Hemish will shoot one plus one. Hemish free throw. This is the front end of a bonus. Three minutes to go. Fergus Falls in the front court, trailing by seven. Here's the pass in the middle for Newell. Back out. Retzloff won't take the three. He'll drive into the line. And before he got in position to shoot, was fouled. It'll be a Ricori foul. Gabe Dahl picks up the foul, his second. It puts Jason Retzloff at the line. 18 points tonight, averaging 24. Two for two, making both just a moment ago. Is straight over to him. Jim Krause. Jim Krause in the Rakori lineup. Replacing Dahl as Retzloff settles in. Hondel and Schreiner under the glass. The free throw is good. Retzloff now with 20. And it's close for the ball for that five at 55 50. 244 to go. Near side pass for Frost. They're working in and they'll steal it midcourt. Picked up by Moreau. It's two on one. Given off. Leroy leans in, shoots, misses. Rebound tipped out of bounds for the ball. They'll bring it in play. Just off the market gave time for Ricori to come back up and get in defensive position to knock the pass away. A slap of the ball by Jason Retzloff on the inbound. Former roll, quick toss down low. Retzloff leans, puts it off the glass and scores. Drops it back. Lang moving down. Shoots. Foul down the lane against Ricori. Scott Hondel stepped up to block the drive up the lane. And that will put Fergus Balls at the line. Scott Hondel with his second. And Nick Lang will step to the line. But Ricori takes the timeout. We have a break. to play. Nick Lang is at the line for Fergus Ball. He was fouled by Scott Hondo. Rakori took a timeout. And Lang's free throw try is up. It's good. Nick Lang will get a second try. Nick Lang makes one of two free throws. But the conversion brings Fergus Falls within two. And Ricor will come up court. 140 to play, leading 55-53. Tips Barbie. Near side two. He'll take it down the lead. And shoot. He drives and scores. Hemish with a drive. That's the baseline. And that breaks.
makes a nine point run by the orders and the Spartans lead it by four. Here's Jason Retzlaff three point. Line. Kick back out on the near side. And a whistle stops play at the baseline. Apparently the order drive stepped out of bounds. And now Fergus Falls will take a timeout. Fergus Falls takes a timeout with 39 seconds to go. It's Rakori 59. Otters 56. Rakori got a basket from Hemish. And Rakori leads it by three at 59 56. Fergus Falls drive at the baseline was out of bounds, and so Ricori brings it into play. Heading up court, Gabe Dahl. The ball is stolen by Trevor Moreau. Near side, Retzla. On top, the return. Retzla fakes left, goes right. This is off. They want Retzla to shoot. He'll back up. The rocker shot is no good. He was due for a miss. He missed made three in a row. 29 seconds to go. Near steal again. In trouble. A long pass up court. The kick out. Hamish is caught by Nick Lang and Paul. Nick Lang picks up his third foul. Now 21 seconds. And the Spartans are at the line. Down low, Nick Lang leans, puts it off the glass too hard, tipped up. Mark Newell, shot blocked, rejected, and fouled. And Mark Newell goes to the line for Fergus Ball. 12 seconds to go. It's a five point recovery lead. Jeff Cross picks up his second personal. Mark Newell will shoot for Fergus Ball. On the season, a 59% shooter has made one of two tonight. Has 11. Mark Newell settles in, and the free throw is good. A conversion here, very important for the orders if they want to make it a one-possession game. Mark Newell makes two of two from the line. He's got 13, and it's 61-58. Full court pressure. Ten seconds to go, and finally, Trevor Moreau catches up to Joe Hemish, picking up the foul and stopping play, putting Ricori at the line. Nine seconds to go. Trevor Moreau picking up the foul and put on a nine-point run. Come with him, too, and eventually came as close as one in 57-56. The Spartans have since outscored Fergus Balls 4-2. And lead it now by three at 61 58. Joe Hemish is at the line. 12 points tonight. A moment ago, made both free throw tries. His first flush the bonus. And he'll be shooting one and one here. Nick Ryan and Mark Newell are under the glass. You'll be able to tell. Joe Hemish's free throw is good. Two possession game. Joe Hemmers back at the line. And again, this one rolls out the win. So, seven seconds to go. Otters up court. Retzlaff leans in, puts a shot up and scores. And that will not be enough. The horn sounds, and Rakori has won. Rakori has held on to win, defeating the Fergus Falls Otters in the Section 8 Championship game. There is a pop. It is white and black and red. It is a big crowd on the floor as Rakori is back in the state tournament. The Spartans hold off the honors tonight. A big, big win. Rakori.
first game as Hardy's, right? And uh, then you can do your commercial out of that. But Fergus Falls outscored Ricori 25 to 14 in the fourth quarter, and it wasn't enough as the uh, Spartan Joe Hemish goes to the line and makes three out of four free throw tries down the stretch to keep it at a two possession game. And the Otters uh, got a lean in from Jason Retzloff at the buzzer, providing for the two point margin. Our post game show tonight is brought to you by Hardy's in Cold Spring. We'll come back and take a look at our scoring after this timeout. Championship of Section 8 AA. The trophy and gold medals being awarded now to the Ricori Spartans. They defeat Fergus Falls tonight by a count of 62 60. Bob Brink are now giving up the silver medal to two head players. And Ricori will head into the state tournament next week. They were last in state tournament play in 1992. And the Spartans took home a third place trophy that year. Bob Brink in his 26th year, and I can't imagine very many wins are much more special. Talented and effective and explosive, Fergus Falls team will have to wait another year. Fergus, I think, had it uh, pretty well in mind that they were headed off to the state tournament. They enjoyed a great year. Only three losses coming in, and of their four wins, of their 20 wins coming in, four of them 